Hello everyone, LD3 back with you for another video. Today we are back in the new castle career mode. Today we are playing in the Community Shield. We're going to be taking on Burnley who beat us in the FA Cup, so it's going to be a little challenging, but we do have better defensive weapons now. We got Joel Matip and Lucas Hernandez into the squad, so hopefully we'll do a little better today, but who knows what's going to happen. I'm hoping to win, I'm expecting to win, but who knows what's going to happen. Alright, we are beginning this game here. We're going straight into attacking. Now that we have four in the back, we can afford to bring some players forward instead of actually having to keep people back and having to play defensively. There we go. Good tackle there. We're going to see if Matt Ritchie can get started on the outside. Can he get by players? He can. Oh, what a move by Matt Ritchie. What a move by Matt Ritchie. Two. Brill. Mbolo. Ah. Oh. Oh, I thought Briel and Bolo was there, but no, it goes out for a corner. And now we have to see if we can score off this. Matt Ritchie bringing it in to Briel and Bolo. Oh, off the side, off the keeper again. What some good opportunities here. That was a nice volley there from Briel and Bolo, and it just missed. But now we get to try again. Oh. Man, we're getting the opportunities early, but we are not getting the go ball in the net. I'm, it's okay for now, but who knows? Players uh, who will be pretty wet after five minutes. Okay, we got Christian Atsu, we got Briel and Bolo. We're going to have Antonio Sanabria off the crossbar. No, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. First 13 minutes of this game, and we are getting all the chances here. Let's see if we can finally score off this corner. No. We can't score off that corner. Can we score right here? Can the center back get a shot off? He can't. Oh, my goodness. This is so... Oh, no. There's a bad interception. But, man, we are getting all the chances to start out this game, and none of them are going in. I can't believe it. Oh no, oh no, Burnley's in. Burnley is in with an, a chance, but we get the ball away, and now Iosi Perez has room to run. Iosi Perez has room to run. We're going to try to pass it to Santa Bria, and we do. Can Santa Bria get around this defender? He can. Can he take the shot, and it goes high? That's our third chance of the game that has been wasted. That one was kind of not really a chance. That was me just trying to be cute and nice and trying to make a great goal there, but... Man, we are getting really close on a lot of opportunities here. Oh, there we go, Joel Matip. You intercepted the ball, but then you made a horrible, horrible tackle. But there was a good tackle by Lejeune, and now we got Christian Atsu running, and he's got room on the outside. Can we get Atsu running? Here we go. Here we go. Christian Atsu. Christian Atsu. We're going to pass it over to Real Mbolo. No! It gets deflected. Mbolo gets deflected at the last second. I was trying for the one-time shot, but it goes off the foot. Man, this is we are getting so many chances here. I can't even count how many chances we've had to start off this game. And we might have another one. Oh, it's still loose. It's still loose. It's still loose. And oh, no, the keeper. Oh, no, it was just bouncing around in front of the net. And the keeper got to it. Are you kidding me? 39th minute, I think we've had three or four chances already. Like, legitimate chances of scoring. And this is absolutely insane. How have we not scored a goal yet? Alright, let's get this second half started with a quick goal, please. We're going to pass it over to Briel Bolo, to Antonio Sanabria, to Iosi Perez. Great job, Iosi. Great job, Iosi. We're going to turn around, pass it off to John Joe Shelby, who passes it to Sanabria. Can he get by, everyone? He can, and it goes high! It goes high again. Come on. Antonio Sanabria is not having a good game today. Two shots way over the bar. Man, we need we need to get some sort of thing going or else. I I have no idea how we haven't scored a goal yet. Looking for teammates in the middle. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Get it out. Get it out, please. Get it out, please. That's not getting it out. That is not getting the ball out, but good interception there. By John Joe Shelley. We're going to see if we can get someone running. Oh, we do. We have Santa Bria. We have Santa Bria. Santa Bria is open. Santa Bria is open. We're going to take the shot. And we finally get the goal. Yes. Antonio Santa Bria. After two horrific shots. You might have only seen one of them. 
but he had two shots very similar to the one that just goes straight over the bar. He finally gets it underneath. He scores the goal. It's 1-0 Newcastle now in the 66th minute. Exactly what we needed. Antonio Santabria showing his strength here to get the ball and right foot to the left side netting. He made the keeper come out. I probably could have chipped it over him. But instead, I just go for the power shot. We score the goal. It's 1-0 Huddersfield. Let's go. All right, Burnley here in their attacking third. I'm not sure if they're going to get close to scoring or not. They have a really good opportunity. Get the ball away, please. Thank you. Good job getting the ball away, and we might be able to counter off this. Santa Bria has a lot of open space. The goal scorer from the 66th minute has space. He's going to try to cross it. In, two, Iozzi Perez, what are you doing? Oh, Iozzi. Iozzi, what are you doing? We're going to make a quick sub, John Joe Shelby, for Jack Colback, but, oh, are you kidding me? That, oh, that was the, that was very similar to what Santa Bria did earlier on in the game. Just absolutely blow it over the net. Come on, Iozzi. That could have been the insurance goal we needed, too. Are you kidding me? How did you not get that score? You had a wide open net and you didn't do it. Come on, man. You got to do a little better than that. Oh, come on. Now we got to stop Burnley from scoring. Thank you. Okay, Burnley attacking here. Tom Davies, who just came on, did not do good, but Jack Butland is here to save the day as he always does. Great pass. Great passing here. Great passing here. And now we got Syvette, another sub, with a wide open space. Take the shot, and it goes in. There's the second goal. There's the second goal we needed right there. Syvette, the sub, coming on, who came in for Christian Atu, scores the goal with a great run on the left side. He just hits the crossbar and jumps into the back of the net. That is exactly what we're doing. He is our... He is... The person we should be looking up to at this point because he just got our goal that we needed to get the into there and score the goal, make it for two nil. I was gonna say four nil. I'm not sure why. I don't know why I thought of the number four, but it is the second goal. It goes in, and we have the insurance goal we need to get our victory in the Community Shield. There we go, Tom Davies. There we go, Tom Davies. Exactly what we needed to do right there to make sure and guarantee our victory in the Community Shield. That was a terrible pass, but they shouldn't have enough time to go on and get this opportunity. We're just going to clear it out. Oh, no, Burnley still has the ball, but it's okay. They're probably most likely not going to be able to score two goals anyway. It goes by the player, and that should be the end of the game, and it is. We get the 2-0 victory. We win the Community Shield. People are happy. We win the game, but the people aren't going to celebrate crazily. It's just going to be like, yay, good victory, we won. But yeah, we win the Community Shield, our second trophy of the season already. We won our preseason tournament. We won the Community Shield. Now let's go on and win the Premier League and start off strong in our next match. Okay, guys, so just to give you guys a quick update, Daniel Barlazar, or Barlazar, or who, however you pronounce it, he goes out on a one-year loan. Just to give you guys all the updates I can about the squad, he was probably never going to play anyway. So, oh, and Matt Sells also got sold. I forgot about that. So I forgot we had that working as well. Can we stop the sim a little faster, please? Yeah, Matt Sells got sold for nine and a half million pounds. We're going to get an additional seven million added to the transfer budget. We're going to be taking on Chelsea in our first game in the Premier League. I'm going to try to make maybe one or probably one signing at this point. You guys probably know who it was based on the last episode, but where I'm going to see if I can make that signing before the start of this season, and then we'll go in and play this match against Chelsea. Okay, here we are back at St. James Park, starting off our Premier League season against Chelsea. A tough opponent to start out. Unable to make any transfers in between the last game and this one. Wait, we still have the ball. I can't believe we still kept the ball there. But, yeah, no transfers to be seen, and we lose the ball. Just giving you guys a quick update. We were unable to get the transfer that I wanted. Maybe we can do it after this match. Who knows? But for right now, no transfers to report. Okay, man. Keo on the ball. We're going to try to pass it out to... I believe that was Christian Atsu, who is playing on the right side today in his natural position. But we were unable to do that. Let's see if we can get Chelsea out. Good job there. 
Let's pass it over. And now we got John Joe Shelby on the outside. Let's pass it inside to Iosi Perez. To Matt Ritchie, who is on the left side. Matt Ritchie. Can he take the shot? It goes in. Yes, 1-0. There we go. Exactly what we needed to start out this Premier League season. An early goal at home in the 15th minute. Matt Ritchie playing on the left side today because I wanted to give Atsu some time on the right side just in case we get the left midfielder. There we go. That's exactly what we were going to do. Great pass. Matt Ritchie is wide open. We're going to get the shot. Left foot to the right side netting. 1-0 Newcastle. Let's go. Oh, that was not a good tackle. I thought I had a decent tackle there, but we turned out not to be. And now let's get it over to Matt Ritchie on the outside. We're going to cut back inside and possibly find a way through here with someone. Or Matt Ritchie himself. Matt Ritchie. Christian Atsu, and it's just wide. Oh, Matt Ritchie almost had an assist there after his first goal. There's the goal again right there, but man, missed opportunity there from Christian Atsu. I thought I had a good chance there. Okay, Christian Atsu with the ball. We're going to see if we can kind of push through this way. Gabriel Mbolo. We got Antonio Sanabria. Can he score his second goal of this episode? He can. There we go, Antonio Santabria making it 2-0 in the 38th minute. Great passing to push the ball up the pitch. And then Santabria with his first Premier League goal of the season. It is 2 now, Hutters. 2-0 now for Huddersfield. Against Chelsea, too. I'm really, really enjoying this. Let's take a look at this goal. We got Atsu to Mbolo to Santabria. Mbolo with the assist. Great power shot right into the back of the net. It's 2-0 now for Newcastle. Okay, we are in added time. We might have a chance to score a third goal if we can get a quick tackle here. No, we can't. It should be halftime now. Let's just get the ball away. And maybe we get the last chance? No, he's, they're not going to give it to us. It is halftime. It's a 2-0 lead. I will absolutely take it. Great work by the team to get in and get the goals that we needed to get. Now let's go see if we can defend the goal in the second half, maybe score another goal, and go on and get the first three points of this Premier League season. Okay, Chelsea trying to attack here. We get the ball, and let's see if we can counter off this. Let's see if we can counter. We got Iose Perez in open space. Let's see if we can get Santa Bria back on side. We can. Can he make it a double for this game? No, he can't. He cannot get the double. That was a pretty poor shot. I'm not going to lie. We're going to bring in a left back over on the left mid side. Give a little more defensive help. But man, that was a that was a poor shot. But you know what? It's okay. We do have the 2-0 lead. So it really doesn't matter if we score. But hopefully we can defend well and keep the clean sheet for this game. Oh, great passing there from Chelsea. But even better defense from our team. Joel Matip already making a mark in his in his debut, not his debut, but his Premier League debut for the Ch for Newcastle. And there is not what I was hoping for. That was not good. It is now 2-1 for Chelsea. We need to get better on defense. Absolutely. We need, we'll take Iosi Perez off. But, man, that was some good passing there. Joel Matip, where are you? Oh, you're not even close to where the action's happening. That is not good. That is not good at all. We did not have some good defending there. Chelsea brings in the goal. Good thing we had the second goal, so we still have the lead. But now we just need to do a lot better defensively to make sure that we get out of here with three points. Okay, 90th minute here. We have to make sure we don't let up the goal. Can we just get some good tackles just like that one? Just like that one. And now we're going to have open space for Christian Atsu. Christian Atsu might put this game away right now. One more touch. Shot and goal. There's the third one. That puts the game away. Chelsea's not going to have any more chances. Christian Atsu with his first goal of the season. That's the way we like it. Make it 3-1. Make sure we get in there. Fantastic work. Great passing to open up Atsu. For the long run, right foot to the left side. Great work. He, he didn't even bring the goalkeeper out. He just kept him there and just got it by him. It's 3-1. Let's go on and finish this game. Let's make sure we get the three points. That should have been the last kick of the game, and it was. 
3-1 victory. Great work by Newcastle. Great way to start out the season. Let's move on. Okay, guys. So we are about to sign the player that I've been waiting to sign for a long time now. Marcus Rashford is about to sign for Newcastle United. He wants a little more wage. That's perfectly fine. We're going to accept that. We get Marcus Rashford, the 20-year-old who was actually in Inter Milan. This past season, he got transferred in the last transfer window, I'm or in the last summer, I'm pretty sure. So now he is back here with the team that is Newcastle United. We're going to add him to the squad right now. Here he is, Marcus Rashford, 83 overall left midfielder. Sorry, Jack Colback, you're leaving. Matt Ritchie, you have been great for us, but you are going to go on the bench as our bench winger just in case someone gets tired or something like that and look at that that our team is looking solid right now we have one two three four five six of our 11 players are in the 80s a lot of them are young and will be improving too so we might have a couple other 80 overall players coming up soon um they're probably not going to have enough money to buy a left back but deandre yedlin who's typically a right back is fine and then we also have a left back on the bench in lazar that is going to be very, very good for us going forward. Hopefully they'll improve, get better, get into the higher 70s for us. But our team is definitely looking a lot better than it was. We get better defensive help, we get better wing help, and now we are looking really strong going into the rest of the season. Our next match, as you can see, we're going to be taking on West Ham United. I'm not sure if it's home or away. We will check that out right now can we speed up the simulation a little bit they're actually asking for a transfer offer for matt ritchie we will i will look at that in a second but yeah we're going to be away at west ham we're going to the london stadium next time going to be a good match hopefully west ham it doesn't playing as bad as they did at the start of this year and like have been playing for a little bit but that is going to be for next time so if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and drop it with a like Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys with a new video real soon. Bye.